Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 15th, 2022 from John chapter 1, The Lamb of God. Previously, we heard about John the Baptist preparing people for the arrival of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. John the Baptist called Jesus the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, and also called Jesus the Son of God. So let's continue the account from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, the 35th verse. The next day again, John was standing with two of his disciples, and he looked at Jesus as he walked by and said, Behold the Lamb of God. The key here is that John the Baptist was with two of his disciples. Would they get the message? The message that John is trying to proclaim, here's the Messiah, here's the Lamb of God, here's the Son of God. Would they understand that message? Verse 37, the two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, what are you seeking? And they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, Where are you staying? So the answer to the question, did the disciples of John get the message that Jesus is the Messiah? Well, it seems so because they started following Jesus. But here's an interesting thought to consider. Why didn't John the Baptist himself follow Jesus? Especially since John the Baptist knew Jesus is the Son of God, the Messiah. The answer that I can probably best give is John the Baptist still had his job to do. That is teaching people and baptizing people. Remember, God put John the Baptist in the role and John the Baptist was going to fulfill his role regardless if following Jesus would be more fun and entertaining. I would love to hear what Jesus had to say. Verse 39. Jesus said to the disciples of John, come and you will see. So they came and saw where he was staying and they stayed with him that day for it was about the 10th hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed Jesus was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. Now we get to some names like Andrew and Simon Peter. Andrew was a follower of John the Baptist and is now following Jesus the Christ. So what would Andrew do now that he's following Jesus? The same thing that any follower of Jesus would do. Go and tell someone else about our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Verse 41, Andrew first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. Keep this connection in mind between John the Baptist and Andrew. They both were concerned with telling others about Jesus. John the Baptist stayed by the Jordan River, continuing to teach people about Jesus and Andrew actually followed Jesus, and, but then brought his brother. As Christians, we also should be concerned about telling others about Jesus. For Jesus dies on the cross for the sin of the entire world. And we should also be about proclaiming this beautiful message. Both Andrew and John the Baptist were doing what God wanted them to do. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.